everyone. I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing video with you. I don't normally get this many packages in the mail unless it's homeschool curriculum. So I thought since I have a couple boxes, I'll share what I got with you. These are clean products that I use and love as well as some healthier food options. Um, my family is kind of on this little journey of trying to improve our health, especially mine with all the health issues that I've been dealing with. And so we've been slowly moving over to cleaner products in our home as well as healthier food options. So I did do two blog posts that are up on my blog. I will leave them linked down below where I share um, number one products that are clean products that I use and love. And um, then I also did one where I share just healthier food options that we have discovered. Obviously I'm in the beginning of this journey. I have a lot to learn still, so if you know more than me, which a lot of you probably do, feel free to leave um, products that you love, healthier food options down in the comments, and you know any other tips that you have on just improving um, our health overall. So always fun to share. Also wanted to let you know that any products that I get off of Amazon are linked in my Amazon shop. I think that's what it's called, Amazon shop store. I will leave that link down below too, but I've got a clean products and um, you know healthier food option little links there in my Amazon store. Okay, now let's jump into the fun part of unboxing. Well, one of the packages I already unboxed because I needed to use it, and that is this um, Puracy stain remover. Um, I love this, it works great. I just order it off of Amazon and I love it. So I had to unbox that one already so that I could spray it on some stains that my kids got. All right, next up is this package. I don't remember what's in it, so let's find out. Okay, this is the um, laundry detergent that I use, Molly Suds, and absolutely love this, works well, I get the unscented one because I really struggle with scented things, especially artificial scents, but even essential oils I have to keep to a minimum. So I love this one, gets our clothes clean and it's unscented and you can add uh, drops of essential oil into it when you put it into the wash machine if you want a little scent. So anyways, that is our laundry detergent. On to the next boxes. All right, let's see what this one is. And I think I'm probably opening it upside down, but that's the way it goes. Let's see, we were out of some, um, let's see, laundry detergent. I don't know what's in here. Let's stop guessing, let's just open it up. All right, the first thing in here is this electrolyte drink from Flav City. And I really like this drink. I'm not sure what it is about it, but, um, I have seen some improvements in some different areas of my health just by drinking this every day, and I'm not sure what it is. I know what the ingredients are. It's got good, clean ingredients. Um, I'm assuming maybe it's um, the magnesium that's in here that's helping, but I love this. And you know, my husband and kids enjoy it after they've exercised, they've been outside sweating a lot or doing yard work. This is uh, a great way to to rehydrate for them as well. So got another package of that. We go through that pretty quickly. And I also got Molly Sud's dishwasher um, detergent. And these are um, pods and you just pop them in. So I really like these. These ones are the citrus ones. So like those. I think that's it for this box. So we'll go on to the next one. All right, that is it for what I got from Amazon in terms of clean products and you know healthier food options. Um, like I said, I've got all the clean products and healthier food options that I get from Amazon listed in my Amazon shop, so I will link that down below. And all of the clean products that I use from skincare and makeup and detergent and cleaning supplies, 
are in that blog post that I mentioned. And again, I will leave that linked down below. So next up is my order from Thrive Market. And I signed up for Thrive Market last year after my stroke when I knew that we needed to make some changes for me in my diet and also for one of my kids that was having some health issues. We had to do like a three day, uh, three day, three month um, kind of really strict diet, the two of us, and I was recovering from a stroke, from a heart procedure, um, could barely get out of bed most days, and so I didn't have the time to go, or the energy, or the strength, to go to the grocery store and look for um, good options. And so Thrive Market was just kind of a no-brainer in that season for us, because I could go in there, I could select, um, kind of the diet that we were on and see the different food options that they have. Um, so it has been great in the season that we are in that I can order things online and they can be shipped to us. I don't know if we will continue using Thrive Market in the years to come, um, just because I have found some of these things at a better price because they're in bulk, bulk options. But um, I don't know, I'll, I'll keep you posted on that. So I'm just saying, um, we're using Thrive Market. It's a great option, but not necessarily for everybody and not necessarily at every season. Um, so now let's, let me show you what we got. All right. So first up in here, we've got these potato chips. They are cooked in, um, avocado oil. I think I got four bags of those. These go really fast in our, in our house. Um, we obviously cannot afford to buy um, these chips all the time for our family. Um, I have seven kids, five still at home, so there's seven of us at home. This is gone, like this is already gone. By the time this video comes out, these are gone. Um, and so these are just treats. We try to eat whole foods, so lots of fruits and vegetables and things that I make in the kitchen from scratch um, for my family to save, but every now and then, you want a little something quick and tasty. And so we like these, again, because they're cooked in avocado oil and not in um, inflammatory oils, which most potato chips are. All right, next up is I got um, a couple cans of this um, roasted chicken breast. And I like to put these on top of a salad at lunchtime to get in protein because I really struggle with protein. I need to get a lot more protein in my diet. So this is just a great option for me to be able to put on a salad at lunchtime. All right, we also got this cereal, Seven Sundays. This is our absolute favorite um, cereal and also our favorite uh, type of Seven Sundays. So this is the maple sea salt. So that's our favorite, it's not the type, this is our favorite favorite flavor. That's what I'm looking for. It's our favorite flavor of Seven Sundays. Um, again, this is the best price at Thrive Market that I can find for this size package of Seven Sundays. But Costco has a much bigger bag for a much cheaper price. Um, but it's their like cocoa one or chocolate one. And so we do get that that one um, from Costco. But we love Seven Sundays. Again, um, just a cleaner cereal option. We usually have these like for snack or even for dessert. Um, we usually don't eat them for breakfast. But I got a couple bags of those. Actually, it looks like I've got maybe four bags. Four bags of those. So love that. Let's see, what else do we got in here? Okay, here's another cereal option. Um, this is the gluten-free sprouted brown rice crisps. And this one I actually, we don't eat for cereal. This one I use in our granola that I make. So I make some granola at home with oats and um, these little Rice crispy alternatives and some flaxseed, a little bit of honey and all of that. And so I make some homemade granola and this is what I use in our homemade granola. So I got two boxes of those. 
All right, my leg is falling asleep, so I've got to, <laughs> I've got to move positions here. Okay, that's better. All right, next up is the Mary Ruth um, vitamin morning. Mary Ruth's Liquid Morning Multivitamin in Raspberry. Uh, we have used this in the past. Um, we have not been using this for a while now. Um, my kids just aren't taking vitamins right now. I don't think they always need to. And I have been using instead, I've just been using like separate, like a combination of separate vitamins that my functional doctor said that I needed. So, you know, like vitamin D, magnesium, um, zinc, just a combination of things that I need. However, buying them all individually, um, you know, good quality ones is expensive. And so I'm slowly running out of them and I just can't afford to go buy all of those individual ones that are good quality right now. Right, I've gotta be a good steward of my health, but I also gotta be a good steward of our finances. So this was on sale at a good price on Thrive Market uh, recently. And so I'm just gonna use this um, right now, much friendlier on our budget, and then probably go back to the um, supplements that my functional doctor recommended for me. But got that. All right, I also grabbed the kids multivitamin from Mary Ruth as well. My kids really enjoy these. Like I said, we kind of go through seasons where I give my kids vitamins and then seasons where I don't. And I would love to hear your opinion on this. Do kids really need vitamins? Like if we're eating lots of good fruits and vegetables, we're eating whole foods, we're, we're not eating a lot of processed foods, like is this necessary? I know that we also, our foods aren't, don't have all the nutrition that they used to have in them, just the way they're made and harvested and I don't know. You tell me, like, is this necessary for our kids or not? I would love, I don't wanna get controversial, but I'd also like to know some other people's opinions. So I did get this for my kids um, because it was on sale at a really good price. All right, what else we got in here? Okay, I did get, it looks like, two boxes of this Jovial pasta. This is cassava pasta, and so it is made from organic cassava flour and water. That is it, and this one's tasty. It holds up really well in terms of, you know, using it like I want to make a pasta salad and put it in the fridge. It doesn't dry out and all of that. So I like this one and um, this is really good for one of my kids who is not supposed to have a lot of grains because cassava is not a grain. So I got two of those. I also grabbed um, the Jovial um, just brown rice pasta. So two boxes of um, brown rice pasta as well. And again, it's just made from organic brown rice flour and water. So good quality ingredients. Um, I am very well aware that I could make pasta at home from scratch and it would probably be even better for us and it'd probably taste better. I don't have that time. I don't have that time. So um, I can make, I can make time to use this and put together some granola for my family but I don't got the time to make pasta. So we try to buy the healthier options. I do want to say though that sometimes we can't afford this. And so I just have to buy other pasta from the grocery store that might not be the healthiest, but it's what I can afford. So again, we have to be a good steward of our bodies, but also of our finances. And we don't, and I, I don't want to make my health um, an idol. Right, I, I want to improve my health for the glory of God um, so that I can serve him better. But sometimes um, God has us in seasons where we bring him the most glory by um, being faithful to him in times of suffering and pain. And so definitely learned that when I had my stroke. So um, anyways, getting sidetracked here. But let's look what else I got. I got this peanut butter from Thrive Market. Again, it is just, what does it got here? Uh, roasted peanuts and salt. I know that again, it would be better if I got this organic. 
didn't have the money to get organic. Um, we also get peanut butter from Costco. Um, sometimes we'll grab some from, you know, Trader Joe's, but I got some from Thrive Market today. All right, I'm gonna guess this is our, yep, strawberry fruit spread. So I got two of those. Um, the reason I like this is because there's no, um, uh, like sugar in it. So it's just, um, I mean, there's sugar in it. How do I put it? No added refined sugar. So it is organic apple juice concentrate is what it's sweetened with organic strawberries, some apple pectin, and then, you know, some vitamin C and stuff. So, um, I like that one. We are trying to cut out sugar, especially refined sugar. And so a lot of, um, things that I make from scratch when I'm sweetening it, I, it needs to be sweetened. I sweeten with um, maple syrup or honey or uh, monk fruit. So let me know if you are also trying to eliminate sugar from your diet and what creative things um, you, different ways and products you have found. Now, even though we are trying to get away from sugar, um, every now and then, you need a little treat. And that's where this next thing comes in, okay? These are the Unreal Milk Chocolate Gems, which are pretty much like a healthier version of M&M's, and the Dark Chocolate Peanut Gems. Again, another healthier option um, of peanut M&M's. So um, these ones I cannot have because they have milk in them and I'm allergic to dairy. These ones are made with dark chocolate, I can have these because there's no dairy in these ones. Now they do have sugar in them, um, you know, actual like refined cane sugar in them. But why I get these instead of having my kids eat M&Ms um, is that these don't have all of the food dyes in them. So they're free of, they're, they're certified gluten free. They are, um, there's no soy no sugar alcohols, it says, nothing artificial, um, yeah, and no food dyes are in here, which is what we're trying to avoid. But let's be honest, let's be real. Um, just a couple weeks ago, we had regular M&Ms in our house. It's just the way it is, right? Everything in moderation, everything in balance. I try my best to get healthier food options but it's not always possible. Um, so we've got these for now, and every now and then my kids eat real candy um, with all the ick in it. And that's just the way it is. Um, I try, like I said, I try to make it so that being healthy is not an idol, um, that there's flexibility in our lives, that we can still go out to eat. Um, and go over to friends' houses and enjoy what they're offering us without complaining and you know being grateful for what people give us and share with us and you know that's more important. Loving people and loving God is way more important than trying to stick to a strict diet. Obviously, there's reasons that you need to stick to a strict diet for, you know, allergies or really bad health issues. Like I said, I've got food allergies. I'm not going to be eating those, even if they're offered to me in love from a friend. I've got to avoid them. And there are also, um, you know, there was like a, that season of three months where one of my children and I, we really had to be strict about our diet and try to um, repair um, just our gut and get our gut health good, get the inflammation down in my body from, um, all the stuff I was dealing with. So anyways, just kind of a rambling uh, video today, unboxing some stuff that I got. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If this is a, maybe a journey that you're on, like I said, I do have two blog posts up about clean products that I use and also healthier food options. And I would love for you to share in the comments, either here on YouTube or in those blog posts, um, 
just things that you've learned and products that you found that you love. Also, don't forget to check out my Amazon link um, for my Amazon store and all the products I get from Amazon. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you again real soon.